glad I'm off work okay so today's been a busy day I got up early said I wanted to start getting up at six o'clock and do my workout I got out of bed like at 605 somewhere around there did my workout got to work I left home because I made me some eggs for breakfast I just my shake that I have I like it it's a fruity pebble shake by Dyna Dynamo Dynamax something like that I can't remember the name of it but I like it, but it's so sweet. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. And I don't like that part of it. And I didn't want that. So I made me some fruit and some cheese and some eggs. So right now I have to go make a run. I'm thinking about going to Target because y'all know I love me a good Target run. Y'all know I love Target, so I think we're going to Target, but I probably won't. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go make my run, go home. I'm supposed to do because I missed my workout from yesterday, so I think I'm gonna do my workout from yesterday today and then work on some other stuff that I have to do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. For dinner, we had taco salad we made for Sunday, and then we made it Sunday night, and then it had a Monday night. At this point, I'm kinda over it. But I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner. So he might still have taco salad again, and then be done with it. So I might do that. Wedding stuff is going really good. Minus the fact that the men's place for their suits, they're saying that they're gonna be in very close to the wedding, too close to the wedding. That makes me uncomfortable, but I can't do nothing about it. Um, the girls dresses like their flower girl and the ring girl, cause I don't have any little boys in my wedding because I don't have any like younger nephews. Um, their dresses aren't coming in until like the beginning of this month or beginning of February the middle of March so everything's just getting down to like the fine details the small details the wire like I'm like we don't really have that much time left guys we ain't got that much time left and now I'm getting antsy so I can't wait to get my nails done I haven't had my nails done since December and then before that I didn't get them done until I want to say the first week in December and I've always had nails like that's something about me I just that's just my thing okay so now I'm back or I'm about to go back home we're about to go home I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat for dinner but I'm probably not gonna make nothing I'm probably just gonna have the rest of my little taco that I didn't eat last night and have that because I don't really want nothing too crazy um, I kind of want to go to Target and just look around see what they have because I got a gift card for Christmas and I haven't I've been in Target enough but I haven't used it so I need to do that I have money on my uh, Target wallet so I use that but I didn't use all that up either so I'm just trying to think what I, I'm just gonna probably go home I want to go home I want to work out and I want to get done with what I need to get done with because I should have did that yesterday and I didn't because I was put, I was behind on like my whole schedule was messed up I knew I was supposed to get up early I had prayed and I said like God I want to start getting up early help me to wake up early I wake up early what did I do lay in bed for a whole another hour and all I kept saying to myself was you could have been working out. 30 minutes have passed. You could have been done working out by now. And I didn't. So then I had to do it when I got off of work. Which I still had. I had, what, an errand to run after work. And then I still needed to work out. And then I also wanted to put up some laundry. But then I went home, got the mail. Then I had to leave back out. And then once I went back out again, I got home. It was like 540 
which kind of threw my whole time off because I'm like, now it's going to be even more later. <laughs> and I still needed to like work out and put clothes up. So I just said, I'm not going to work out tonight. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And I wanted to start editing my video because it takes a long time to edit everything. So I'm doing all of that. And then it's like nine o'clock, I wash my dishes, I end up putting my clothes up. So I'm like, today, all I gotta do is when I get home, do my other workout, and then I can go home and I can just work on my video. And I'm just, I just don't feel like working out, but I'm gonna do it because I need to, because I wanna make sure that I'm staying current. Because yesterday was cardio, today is arms. Well, this morning I did cardio. And I still have arms to do so and I got flap chicken wings so I definitely need to get that together so that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm going to do because tomorrow I have an appointment after work so it's just it's just so much oh what's going on here well something's going on at subway there's an ambulance and a police car I great nobody's here are crooked again <laughs> it is early in the morning it is Wednesday and it is chilly outside from what I'm gathering um everybody's like why am I going outside on Facebook why am I going outside <laughs> why don't I live in Florida man I don't even necessarily have to live in Florida because you know Florida they got like a different type of heat they have hurricanes and there's only like a certain window that they have where it's just like perfect you know and i don't want to be doing that because i would want to live somewhere by the ocean and then that's where the hurricanes and stuff be at so i'm not but i do want to live somewhere warmer i would love to move somewhere where it's warmer and that's what i would like to do is it gonna happen probably not Probably not. I'll, I'll probably won't move. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, today, got some errands to run, as usual. Got work to do. Um, and then I think that's it. Just some errands to do. Some light errands. Ooh, hold on. Yeah, I just got some light errands to do. Got to work out. Um, and then come home. Oh, I think I'm going to make some burgers for dinner for tonight. That sounds pretty appetizing. Look at this. Like, I don't know why this piece decides to be straight. Everything else is kind of nappy, but like, and nappy in a sense of like, it's my hair. And it, it needs to be, I need to wet it up. So let me wet my hair up real quick. And then put the facial cream on. <sighs> what a week. It's only Wednesday. And this has been a busy week. <laughs> has it's been off and on. It's like a stop and go week. Um it's negative six degrees outside. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. It's winter, I know, but like <clears throat> <laughs> I'm not <sighs> I just want to stay in my house I don't want to go outside I don't want to go outside Negative 6 degrees Negative 6 Child, today was one of those days That It made me want to go get some ice cream It's been one of those days today it was a busy day at work, which is fine. It's normal. But sometimes it's just the things that people do and the things that people say and the things that people don't do. That That's frustrating because it makes things harder. So today was just a day um work day's over tomorrow's a new day and handle it accordingly <laughs> it's just frustrating i'm sure every
everybody. I'm sure everybody's had those moments where you're frustrated at work, when you're you're irritated at work, where it's just like this this ain't the move. <laughs> we gotta move a different way because this is just not it. That's that's one of the days I'm having today. That's one of the days I'm having today, and uh, I'm gonna stay positive. I'm gonna stay positive. It's gonna get better. That's all I really can do. That's all I can really do. Because until God moves me, I'm not moving. But I'm going to need him to shift and shake some stuff up. <laughs> I'm going to need him to shift and shake some stuff up. Whether it be with people or whatever. Because this ain't that. <laughs> this is not that. That's how I feel right now. Then when you're at work, you try to stay positive. And then I can let it all out when I get in the car. <laughs> let it all out. Um, but, um, I have an incoming call. Hey, I'm back. Just left my errands. Had to go get some, figure out what's going on with our tire. But thank God they gave us, they blessed us and they didn't even charge us. That's that's a blessing right there. So I'm super happy about that. I was gonna go, I still might go and get a tomato. Ooh. And get a tomato from the store. I might do that. Because we're having burgers. Burgers! I'm, it sounds like I'm saying burgers. Burgers. And I'm just not a person that can have a burger and not have tomato. So, on my way home to do that, or no, I'm going to go to Walmart and get, um, pick up my tomato real quick. Because I'm trying to think. I'll go past Walmart. Yeah, I'll go to Walmart and get a tomato. And then, um, go home, unwind, cook dinner, eat dinner, and just kind of relax. It's been a busy day. Today's been a busy, what's going on channel 7 over there? It's been a busy day. I've calmed down. I've decompressed. One thing I've learned, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I definitely am a stress eater. When I feel overwhelmed, I feel frustrated, I snack. And not good snacks <laughs> at all. And I snacked at the car place. And I regret it because I honestly don't feel good don't like it did nothing for me didn't make me feel better so i was like well this was just a waste of time but it's okay it is what it is can't do nothing about it now i can't give it back <laughs> i can give it back but they're not gonna want how it get i give it <laughs> so i mean there's that but just trying to stay calm and realize like the things that i can control the things that i can deal with that I can have control over then that's what I'm going to worry about things that I don't have control over I'm not gonna allow myself to get upset and frustrated and stressed out but people are gonna be how they are who they are all the time I can't I can't make nobody be different I can't tell people to care I can't make people care and want to put forth effort in anything whether it's their job or caring about people I can't make nobody and what's frustrating is because when you feel like you're the only one that's doing it or there's only a certain amount of people that are it gets frustrating sometimes it does get frustrating sometimes it feels like an uphill battle and every time you just get right there you slide back down but it is what it is i'm gonna pray about it tonight god's gonna help me through it and it's gonna be all right because we ain't got no choice we ain't got no choice what are we gonna do Oh. It's Friday! Y'all know I be so hyped. I get so geeked when it's Friday. Because, for one, it's Friday! Man, I be so excited. I be so excited because I'm real bored. I can relax and reclaim myself, get rest, work on some things. 
I be loving it. I love it. So right now, I'm just waiting because I need to go um, go to the wedding location or the ceremony place. I don't know what it's called. Wedding venue, duh. Go there and meet with my wedding planner because we need to go over like how I want to walk in, um, finalize a couple of things, and then I'll meet back up with her again in March. So just going to be doing that. Um, and then probably going to go get some food. Probably going to get some food. And maybe shop a little bit. So we'll see what we can get into for today. Um, cause after my meeting, I'm not going to go back to work because it doesn't make sense because it's how far away it is. So I'm just not going to do it. So I'm just going to end up going out there, finishing that meeting up, which should probably be like two hours or so going, um, grabbing a quick lunch, might see my friend be able to meet me for lunch. Um, and then hit up the mall. See if I find anything. I have a coupon before you judge me. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I thought I literally just went through this whole rant about I'm never buying anything from Bath and Body Works. I got a free coupon. And I'm gonna see if I can buy like those little glass cylinder sprays and see if I can do something like that. If not, I'll just get it and give it to somebody. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in there and see. And like I said, it's a cold day, but we gonna make some stuff happen. We gonna make some stuff shake. And this week has been, today has been better than Wednesday was. Thursday was a step up for Wednesday. Um, it's just going to be a new, you know, it's just a matter of being like, you know what, let me stay in my lane and not veer off because the moment I do, that's when stuff gets real crazy. And I can't say crazy like it's me, but like crazy like I start noticing things and I'm just like, you know what, everything was great when I was in my own lane and I didn't look over and see what y'all was doing. So <sighs> that's the plan. So week thing of the week, stay hydrated. Mind your business and stay in your lane. Y'all, let me just explain something. I don't like shopping. <laughs> let me rephrase that. I really like shopping and I really like going to new stores so I can make a mental note in my head of things that I want to purchase in the future places that I would like to visit in the future um, I'll go to the store and buy stuff that we need for the house or something that I want to try but when it comes to myself as far as like buying clothes buying anything really personally for myself it doesn't happen so I'm, I'm just a cheaper person for myself it's real shaky hold on I'm just I'm just not a person that buys things for her for myself I buy stuff for other people my husband wants something as a gift my friends want something as a gift instantly like what do you want I'll buy it for you I'll get it for you no problem I see something and my friend's like, you should get that. I'm like, no, I don't need it. <laughs> but then they'd be like, oh, I want that. I'm like, do you want me to get it for you? And I, I'm, I'm trying to get out of that mindset. Like, it's okay to spend money on yourself. But it's hard because my mindset, not that anybody put it in my head, but I've always been this way of like, no, I don't want to spend money on myself. I want to save it. What if this happens? Or what? And I hate that because such high high anxiety today because I bought two outfits for $20 two pants two skirts two tops $20 and I felt like that TikTok like I'm about to have a panic attack like I felt like that like my I started itching I started like thinking like do I need to get this should I get this I don't need to buy this I don't even need this right now I'm fine I'll go and get this, you know, later. And I just was a mess. Like, I didn't cry, but I dang near, like, I took
took my wig off while I was trying to close on because I just was like, I need to take this off of me right now. Like, it just was, it just was not good. I mean, I put it back on, obviously, <laughs> when I was in the store. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day, but I walked out with the wig on. Let's just say that. But I just feel like I have to, I have to pray on that because that is a, that's a situation that got a super strong hold on me because I'm like, I can go somewhere cheaper to buy these clothes. Where are you going to find brand new clothes for $5? It's a nice quality, Tia. I don't know. I can probably find it for three somewhere. <laughs> or I just don't need it. Went to Bath and Body Work and bought a lotion, a spray, a candle. I'm like, I don't even know why I'm in here. I don't even like going to Bath and Body I mean, I do, but I'm like, y'all spray don't last for nothing. So I took the lotion off because I'm like, $20? For some spray that I know is not going to last. Or some spray that ain't going to do nothing. So I took it off. But, you know, <laughs> it's a strong move. We are going to Target. It just wouldn't be me if I didn't go to Target at least once a week. No, would it? Um, I'm going to pick up some. What am I picking up? Picking up some shampoo stuff. Because, oh gosh, you see my hair? I'm trying to hide it under a hat, but it's not working. I want to pick up some deep conditioner. We're going to the movies today, so I'm gonna wash, condition, and press my hair out. And so I need to get that. Um, some deep conditioner, and then I'm gonna pick up some snacks. So I'm gonna grab a cart only because I don't feel like carrying everything. I'll grab a basket. Let's make it simple. <laughs> so my hair looks rough, but that's okay because I'm gonna have to shampoo it and do a treatment in it. But I bought this stuff called edge fixer um it's got biotin b7 infused whole level seven i got it from target i'm about to try that and then i got the shea moisture manuka honey and Feral oil intensive hydration hair mask with fig extract and biobob oil i don't know how to say it so i'm about to do that and get done because movie starts at 120 and I think it's like almost 11. So, I'm back. So I, I just got, so I just got done washing my hair. This is what it looks like. If there was a way my hair could stay like this, I would wear it like this. With the headband, because we know, we seem to think headbands make it, we seem to think headbands make everything better. But I'm about to blow dry my hair. And what is that? Oh, I'm about to blow dry my hair get that process started but yeah I actually I really love my curls this makes me not want to press it out but I'm going to so, this is my hair blown out I need to trim it I need to trim it so I'm gonna press it out and then I'm gonna trim it but I'm about to blow dry it one more time to get my roots and everything make sure those are really dry get some oil in there and then we're gonna press it out Oh, my lips are dry. Sorry. Oh, my hair is all done. So my hair is done. So press my hair out. Look at all this gray hair I have. It's ridiculous. But I think I did a pretty good job. I trimmed my hair as well because it just needed to be trimmed because it was just not the move. But what I like about when I get my hair, or when I do my hair, is because it just got so much body, and it just looks like I just came from the salon. And that's what it looks like. It looks like I just came from the salon. But nope, I did it myself. So, and I like that whole messy front bang look. I mean, not that messy. Not that messy, but, but you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is my hair. It's gotten longer. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gotten long. Just gotta remember to take care of my ends because I've been neglecting the ends of my hair. I'm like, I throw it in a ponytail. I don't be combing it and brushing it for like a week. My ends, I'll wet my hair up and I'll maybe throw a little bit of oil on it. So I just gotta get better with that. So I'm about to put up my scissors, my shears, which is shark fin. And actually like the brand it was crazy because it's the brand I had when I was in school 
so I haven't had a problem with that. And I, I like that brand, so I keep using them. So now I have to get dressed. We're just gonna go on something cute and simple because we're gonna go see Scream 3. And I actually never seen any of the screams. And so my husband, we went and bought all the scream movies so I can be up to date on what those movies are. And they're pretty cute. I like them because you're just trying to figure out who the killer is and not automatically know who the killer is. So that was really, that was different because you know a lot of movies nowadays, you don't have that. So. <sighs> so yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. Clean up my mat on my sink and clean my bathroom out again since I have hair everywhere from cutting it and combing it out and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get back on here once I get done. A whole sandwich i don't know if you can do that or not or like a whole meal but i got my snacks in my purse because i'm not getting in trouble <laughs> okay my hair looks crazy because i just got home and i'm about to eat but i wanted to show you real quick so i went to meyer they got a new soap and y'all know i'm a soap girl so I had to get it and it's the Fearless Artist Series, Balances and Even Skin and it's by an um, African-American artist. And I had a support and then, well, let me take that back. I bought the bottle, just, I bought the soap clearly off of the bottle. Then I smelled it, it smelled amazing, which was a bonus. Then I found out it was by African-American artist and then I just was like, triple the, triple the bonus for that. So I got that. Then I went to Windsor at the Green. Remember I was telling you guys how I had a whole like breakdown and anxiety and all this other stuff? This is the outfit I got. It is this really cute like patent leather skirt and it's super long, but I love it. It's so cute. This is a cute little date night and you pair it with this bodysuit that is, um, the leopard print bodysuit. If this look is gonna be fire as soon as I get my body together. <laughs> but it gives me motivation. And then I bought this skirt, which is super cute. And this shirt goes with it, so it's like a crop top. But the way I'm gonna wear it, it's not gonna be like too revealing. So that is what I bought. And then we went to go see Scream. That movie was so good. It was so good. Granted, sometimes I feel like when people don't know what to put into like a sentence or word to say, they just put a cuss word in there. And it was one of those things where I just felt like they were just cussing to be cussing because it's like, you ain't really had to say all of that. <laughs> That's what I felt. Um, but it was really, really good. It was a moment in there where I was just like, oh, why? why and i don't want to say what happened because i don't want to buy to ruin it because i saw one thing and it ruined it for me so i was anticipating something and it didn't go the way i thought it was but i still was anticipating so i'm not gonna ruin it for you but 10 out of 10 would recommend to go see because it, it probably is gonna be i don't know if they're gonna do another one or if it might be just the last one i don't know but it was really good um but there was a guy i don't know tell me comment down below when you go to the movies do you bring your own snacks? Because we bring our own snacks. Now, now, when we bring our own snacks, we don't be bringing chicken wings and stuff. I know people who do. They bring Chipotle. I'm not judging. I would too. This guy bought in a bag of chicken wings. And he had dipping sauces. And they never said nothing. He was getting ordered his ticket and everything. They didn't say nothing to him. So then me and my husband was like, can you bring food in here? They're not going to say nothing? I don't know. Maybe they just was like, you know what? Do what you need to do. I don't know. But it was weird. This edge control also that I just bought. It's giving a little white cast right here. But it's still in. Well, yeah, it's definitely giving a white cast. Maybe it's just I put a lot right there. I don't know. But it's actually a really good. It's been holding my hair. Like, it ain't the. It's not the um, one 
edge control of this girl I know I went to school with. She's doing amazing. Um, she has a brand called Arcani, Arcani Coil, and it it's a bomb line. It's a really, really good hairline. But it's not as good as that edge control where you can rub it and it don't move. But it's pretty good. It's called Edge Fixer Glue. And this is the one I was talking about that I got. And it smells so good. It smells like a peach. And they had another one I think it was a berry. And they also have a new line, which is like a dupe to the Olaplex. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I want to try it, but I need to research it first because it's like $9.99. And I need to get see how the reviews are on it for African-American hair because not all brands are created equal when it comes to that. So I'm about to change, put my pajamas on, sit down, get comfortable, relax for the rest of the evening. And then just chill because it's been a long day. I've been up since three something. Didn't go back to sleep until around almost five. Yeah, around five. So I'm trying to find my scarf so I can put my scarf on my head and I can't find it. But I know I put it in here. I'm almost 100% sure. Ain't no telling where I put that thing up. Mm, now I gotta find. Oh, I found it. <laughs> so I'm about to wrap my hair up real quick and call it a night. I think I'm gonna wrap it this way. Um, I'm gonna call it a night because it has been a very long day but it's been a good day Marie 21 was having a sale and I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone so I went there and couldn't find nothing or the things that they had was just ugly and I'm like well no wonder why this stuff is on sale they had a couple of cute pieces that they was like oh it's clearance and then I look and I'm like this stuff ain't clearance. It's $12.99 and originally was $16. A clearance to me is like, it's $12.99. Oh, crud. Wow, that failed. Um, clearance to me is like, it's $12.99, but now it's about to be, or $16.99, and it's about to be like five or six bucks. <laughs> That's me. That's also could be because I'm cheap. I'm super cheap when it comes to myself. Like I said, if it comes to like my friends or my family and they want something, don't judge the way I wrap my hair. <laughs> don't judge how I wrap it. Yes, I know these are not good for your hair. I'm a cosmetologist. These are horrible for your hair. They break your hair off. I get that. Have I been doing this for years? Absolutely. So I know, I know, I know. But it's what I use. I like it because well, you know, if you get freshly wrapped hair, child, trying to wrap it and put a scarf on it, it's like you need, you need four hands. You need two hands to hold it here and two hands to hold it here. And then you need another person just to put the scarf on your head. Well, this is giving real, like, <laughs> this is not giving the vibes I'm trying to get right now. But anyway. I gotta find my scarf. But anyway, so yeah, that's why I didn't go. Like I didn't buy nothing because like I said, it wasn't no deal to me. And it was ugly. And they bring him back clothes that is like, you remember back in the grungy days, like girls were wearing pants and or the guys were wearing the skater big poofy shoes and the pants leg was like one length. That's what they're bringing back. No, just stop. Don't do that. That's that's not a cute look to me, to me, to somebody and plenty of people. They probably love that look and they probably can't wait for that. Couldn't wait for that look to come back. For me, I'm like instantly no, immediately no, immediately no. But like I said, that's just me. So, yeah, not everybody thinks that way. What I like may not be in style for somebody. So. I'm not hating on nobody who likes it. It's just not, ouch, it's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. Let me tell you, this piercing right here, it don't cost the blues today. 
I was sleeping and literally flipped it. I was combing my hair, almost combed it out. And just now I almost flipped it out again. I mean, it's probably like, if you don't want me in your ear, just say that and I will kindly remove myself. It's not even a year old this piercing is. But it's healing up good though, so. But all right, that's enough of me talking. I'm about to eat my dinner. I'll probably find something quick on Netflix to watch or Disney. Let's see. Dang it, I got all this hair that didn't go in there. I just gonna swirl it around. And then whatever's cooking in the morning, I'll fix it. I'm ready to get out of these clothes, get in the bed, so I don't even care. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, I just got back. But, y'all, the Bengals is going to the Super Bowl. I'm not even a Bengals fan, and I can't jump on that bandwagon like, oh my gosh, I love the Bengals. No. But, they're going to the Super Bowl. And I'm actually super excited for them because they haven't had this happen in so long. So I'm rooting for them. I hope they I hope they take it all the way because it's like, dang, my team didn't make it. None of my teams made it. Like my coach retired this year. Like, what the heck? So I just had to get on and say that. Like, I was not expecting none of that to happen. But that's exciting. Um, I'm about to close this vlog out because I just got me something to eat and I'm already irritated because I'm, I already don't want the food that I have because it don't even seem like it's going to be good. But that's what I get because I shouldn't be eating it anyway because I have a countdown on waiting time and you know. So I am going to close this out and I will talk to you guys later.